Hey everybody, welcome back to Circadian Dice, where we took the Necromancer to the Noxious Marsh and had a lot of problems, honestly. It was really, really, really hard. It was the first major stumbling block I came across. Not sure if it's just because it was the Necromancer, maybe the Noxious Marsh is like one of her harder areas, but we'll find out <laughs> as we go forwards. Right, we have an ancient tomb to go through next. Let's go back full circle. Let's pick the cleric again. And let's see our new relics. Okay, we have the Ring of Fellowship. Start with a captured class-specific pet. The Mummy. Oh. Deal one piercing damage to a random enemy when you score hearts on this dice. Interesting. We have Tether Mage's Helm. If you end a turn without attacking with a die, Add a charge to a random ability. Mm. The first enemy that takes overkill damage each wave drops a chest. Okay, we saw this one last time. Ring of Fellowship, I'm willing to try you. You seem pretty cool. Does this mean I drop the Trapper's Mantle? Maybe we don't take the Trapper's Mantle then. Okay, give me the chest plate and we will take the heart pendant then. Sure. This seems fine. And we're going to the ancient tomb. Cursed Scarab. He has cursed. Uh, lose one health at the end of each turn. So cursing attack adds one, sorry, curse one to a random die face when dealing damage to you. Understood. And you have four health. Holy moly, you're a tough little boy. Immediately we could grab an upgrade. That's a lot of health. And a shield and a shield coin. You know what? I'm willing to take this, I think. The question is, where do I put you? You know what? Hang on a minute. What do you... Just go back here. Mummy, what was your effect again? Deal one person damage to a random enemy when you score hearts on a die. Does this stack? I'm willing to test this out. Let's do this instead. And we'll, we'll test this during the battle. So you do one damage and curse. So this is actually not too bad. You'll block the one damage. But I think I still get cursed, right? Or does it have to be unblocked? No, it has to be unblocked. Okay. Then I'm not as afraid as you as I thought it might be. Again, we can take this. And he dies. How did he die so quickly? Sure. Uh, we're taking the streak because I want as many points as possible. How did that guy die? Did I miscount? Whatever. Tomb Guardian gains plus one attack whenever you roll a cursed face. That's pretty spooky combined with the Scarab Boy. This might be a shield batch. Because I could just one-shot someone here. Yeah, take it. And they put up the armor, remember? Aspect of the Beast. Add one fang attack to target non- Trap die face. Oh, that's a good point. The mummy thing will do two damage if we put a fang attack on it. Bargain. Reduce the cost of each upgrade in the shop by one. That takes up my blue gems, which I use for shield bash. Uh, give me the aspects of the beast, I suppose. Although I can't get red gems either. It's kind of neutral honestly uh, three turns left I would like to open the chest as well so I'm going to say no to this because I don't have a key so I have to break it open and I can't shield bash right now either mm. two turns could do with more Oh, the piercing mummy thing. Nice. 
opened the chest for me. I completely forgot about it already. Okay, I think I'm willing to grab this. Sword, sword, a blue gem, a red gem. Yes, please. And I'll have this replace these swords, I think. Okay, we have to get one damage this turn. And we have it here with the heal. And gain a coin? Do I want more money? Oh, he's cursed! I understand now. So he starts as being cursed as well. Strange. Do I, are you just dead then? Do I have to do nothing to you? Well, we're not going to find out because I'm taking this. The, the amount of gems I get off that is real good. And then I can add, add a fang attack to a target nun. Or die face. Uh, let's replace... Oh, it adds it. I forgot. Oh, I should have put that on this giga attack then. Okay. My bad. I need to remember add is not, you know, replace. We have the mummy now. Take one piercing damage for each health you gain. Cursing attack one. So if I can heal the mummy, he da well, he'll take damage. Gains one attack whenever you roll a cursed face. The mummy also curses me, but is not cursed. Okay. You are slightly spooky, boys. I'll give you that. This would let me shield bash. But it's not really moving the needle for me. Okay, stun the mummy. Do I want to put a shield bash on? Yeah, let's do it. We just want to get some damage out here. Hmm. So this will block the Tomb Guardian attack. It won't block all the mummy damage, or it will take a curse. But I don't have a shield bash anymore, so two shields doesn't really help me that much. We could go for shield and health, but I would like to get some kills here. So you know what? I'll take this reluctantly. So you've cursed one of my shields. I wish I could take this, but I can't. Regretting my shield bash decisions. Okay, he gains a health. This is an awful turn for me. Holy light. Increase your maximum health by two, gain seven health. Don't need to do this just yet. Okay, this could be a lot of fear coming on to us right now. So this will pierce one, sorry. We can stun the mummy. Yeah, I think we just have to accept we're going to gain some fear here. So these curses stay as well, that's nasty. Do I wanna ignore the shield bash again? Let's let's do it. Let's keep adding fangs to my die face. Goodbye. You spooked me. Wave complete. Bargain game sorry, it has three charges. Reduce the cost of each upgrade in the shop by one. No, I'm already using all my blue gems. Or gain three. Give me three. And I think we'll purge the curse off with a purchase here. So Fang Shield is pretty nice on this dice as well. So is Health. I might do that, but then I reduce the amount of health I can get off this dice considerably. But it will remove a curse for me. Alternatively, I could put it on this die, but that doesn't really help. Or I could put it on this, this onto this die, which will give me more blue so I can do more shield charging. And it will remove a curse still. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Okay, do I want to keep this? No. Tomb Wraith, he just has barrier and a lot of damage. We don't have a shield batch up. Oh god, that stayed cursed. 
the trap face did. Shoot. Okay, can I kill someone here? Two, three. I can kill you, but I will take damage as well. I think I'll just do that. Then you'll die to the curse at the end of the turn. Oh my god, the curse is stacking up. This is a great one to take. I think this is our shield bash. Big heal. We shield bash. So this now does four damage. I will kill you. Uh, I'll do that to the chest. Nope. Oh, God damn it. Losing your health again. I can't break through that barrier with this roll. Okay, this is a better roll. I'll give you that. We'll stun this. Oh, it doesn't go through because it's not unblocked damage. Okay, shield bash. Shield bash the chest because I'm greedy. And then I can afford Giga Heal. Okay, Giga Heal. But I don't really want the trap on it. I want Giga Heal without the trap. Because I don't want to replace what I've got on this die. This is... Oh, what do you become? Curse faces can't be rolled. That's kind of spookerific, if you ask me. But I'll take it. We can always purge him off again. And I'll do this instead. Treasure chamber. Defeat or use key to open. Harmless, uncapturable. Well, I've got a key on this roll. We're also going to heal for a bunch of health. And we can do some decent damage. I think we take this. Who do we want to kill? The Tomb Guardians might be the scariest creatures here because they can scale oh we just blew someone up uh i will open the treasure chamber please i don't know what i got for that <laughs> Mis just misery i suppose Nom. right we can never gain a cursed face anymore so i'm going to start opening the chest with smacky wackies although we do have cursed die so we should be a little bit careful. In fact, let me leave you on one health. Ooh, you do three damage. Nice. Give me a chest. This has lifesteal on it, right? And blitz. Resources and attacks on this face are multiplied by three. That seems really, really, really good. So does this, honestly, the six health one. But again, I don't really want to reap people and capture them. Although, does that catch it? Yeah, it becomes a zombie in this die. I really want to keep this mummy up. It has to be score hearts on the dice, not just heal. Okay, well, I'm going to take this then. And I will replace the blue gem. We've got three right now. Feeling pretty good about that. I want to open the chest. Give me more money. Should we grab the combo as well? That takes at level 5. We're at level 3. Sure, let's do it. I didn't mean to put it there. I, I maybe misclicked. I was going to rotate it one. My bad. Cursed treasure. Uncapturable cursing attack. So this chest actually hurts me. 
Oh my god, he does three damage this middle one. I don't need the heal right now. That'll work. Boom. Then I have five damage. And I can shield bash. For six. Nice. Okay. Let's... Oh, it comboed still. I forgot that's what the combo does. I'm dumb. I'm dumb but smart. A nice combination. Well, there is a temptation just to do that. I don't really need the red die, though. Uh, sorry, the red gems, not the red die. That's not awful. We did look at this one before. Good heals, good shields. Shields give shield bashes. But I think I'm willing to wait a little bit longer. Blue gem's also very nice. Okay, you're doing two damage. Hmm. I don't need white gems, so... I don't need to capture either. This will work. Okay. He gets blown up. Smack. Smack. I have 18 coins right now. <laughs> Maybe we buy this. It has a three attack with a white gem on it and a red gem with the other one with magic attack, I think. Oh no, it's cursing attack. And it has shields on it. Yeah. And you know what? This hasn't been a huge issue right now. But I think I will still do this instead and protect my ability to trap another enemy. I still have eight coins as well. There is a temptation just to buy this one to give me more blue gems. Sure. Let's do that. Okay. Bunch of Tomb Guardians and a Tomb Wraith. The Tomb Guardians probably scare me more than the Tomb Wraith, although the Tomb Wraith does do a lot of damage. But we have a lot of heals now. This isn't a great roll, though. Uh, this isn't great either. It's not terrible. It gives me another shield bash gem. I'll open you up and I'll give you a little smack. We take some pretty big damage here though. But I have holy light. Capture chance 70%. Gain one gold when you keep a cursed face. Interesting. While I'm not cursed, I'm not too fussed right now with how this is going. I wouldn't mind this heal either. But I'm looking for something a bit more. A stun. Can we charge to do double damage? Oh, that'd be a good use for my red gem. Okay, I'll take this. Boom. Remove your barrier. We'll charge this to do two damage instead. Kill you. And then I can just kill you. I put up one block anyway, so no one's going to do damage. I've been really lucky not rolling these cursed faces. In fact, incredibly lucky now that I look at things. Uh, I'm going to be a bit greedy here. Come on, give me a key. Oh. I want the money. I'm not going to capture. I'm going to leave Tomb Wraith on this dice. And now I just need three damage. That'll do.
Okay, wave eight of eight. The Revenant Pharaoh. Attack withers. Gets plus one attack. Heart withers. Heals one. Wither three. Removes three symbols at random from dice when damaging you. Holy moly, that's scary. I guess this is why the game was giving me all this money. Okay. Reroll me. Reroll me. This is a decent healing, but healing is not the issue here. I think we're about to get purged a little bit. Also, the mummy is fairly spooky as well. We might have to leave the, mu the mummy... Sorry. We might have to kill the mummy and leave the pharaoh up. Because he's going to keep cursing me. And the Tomb Guardian will get stronger then. And it gives me a die. That's pretty useful. So yeah, he, he's, he's purging my faces. He's removing my symbols. What a scumbag. So Tomb Guardian doesn't bother me anymore. It's legitimately a non-entity to me. We just want our most damaging stuff. And this is pretty damaging. Okay, go for it. Smack. Smack. We might as well blow all our shield batches now. He has five damage. And he's purging my face at an alarming rate. But we're healing through it. Okay, we should probably add symbols to die now. I don't really need the red gem. I just want attack, but this is pretty good attack as well. Sure, let's do that. This is only two. Let me re-roll. Okay, this is a kill. Doop and bloop and bloop. And shield batch and loop. Okay. That could have been really spooky. And we only got four stars. Because I guess we let a wave escape. The Sun Monastery is unlocked. Legendary chests. They can contain special die faces. Day night cycle unlocked. Ah. And mult. Metamin. What? And Soothing Collar unlocked. Two relics. Soothing Collar. Replace an attack on your second and fourth die with a trap. Increase the attack of captured enemies by one. Okay. And what was the other thing? Multi... Oh, it's multivitamin. The, the kerning on it was a bit awkward. I thought it was multivitamin. If you have three or more debuffed, petrified, diseased, frozen, or cursed, die face at the end of a wave, remove one debuff at random, and add a random symbol to that face. Okay, that could be really useful. Take me to the Sun Monastery. We'll do another run. And let's go there with the Elementalist. I will try Multivitamin. Your deal is more charges, really, isn't it? So let's give you Tome of Wisdom as well. And I kind of want to check the soothing collar out. What are your attacks? The red and blue. So this doesn't really help me. Beggar's bag could. Uh, sorry, beggar's rug could be useful. I could really just go around blowing my gems then. Or I can chest plate and try and get more money. Or we can try the Ring of Fellowship. You know what? Ring of Fellowship me again. I really enjoyed it. Does it, sh it shows you as well what you're going to get. The Lesser Demon. 
Deal two damage to a random enemy when you score red gems on this die. Okay. I'll buy it. Let's do it. Rift Stalker. Untargetable and ethereal. Cannot be chosen as a target of abilities. Ethereal 1. The next time this enemy takes damage, reduce that damage to zero. During day, other enemies are untargetable. That's a sun monument. Harmless, uncapturable, damage cap 2. Does not attack, adds no fear when escaping and does not need to be killed to end wave. So I guess my problem right now is I can't attack the Rift Stalkers, which is a pretty big problem. And it shows you at the very top, day for three more rolls. What if I kill the Sun Monument though? I guess they just become inferior then. Okay. This isn't great, is what I'm going to say here. I will take you, I will hit you. Okay, it's night time now, so they are targetable, but they're still ethereal. This is probably my best roll. I guess I'll use an eye circle to purge off the ethereal. You still get frozen though. So maybe I eye circle twice and I just... What? Oh, because I'm frozen. I'm dumb. Okay, we'll kill you. I need piercing damage. Do I have piercing damage? Nope. Well, I guess we'll keep this then. So you'll do two damage to a random enemy when you score red gems on this die. Seems pretty good. I'll hit you and you're gonna hit me. And now I just need damage. This is kind of spookerific, I'm not gonna lie. Chillbring has a freezing attack. Freezes a random die face when dealing damage to you. When a frozen face is rolled, you lose all re-rolls. Frozen is removed when face is replaced. Because it's a loot gnome. Okay. I, I want the red gem, but I don't want the trap. Because I'm happy enough with the lesser demon. I think I will kill Freeze Boy. Fire Breeze, De deal one damage to each enemy and one damage to yourself, or Blood Ritual. It costs four health. Gain red gems up to your maximum. Give me Fire Breeze for now, but I do respect the other one. Do I Fire Breeze immediately? No. Okay, now I do. We can kill one of them. Or I can charge it. But Fire Breeze right now is more efficient. The alternative is that Fire Breeze again, and I just put one damage to each of you. Okay, I missed the loot gnome twice. It is what it is. <clears throat> Possessed monk has double attack during the day. 
And then Freezy Boy. Uh, you might have to be fireballed, honestly. Because I do not want to be taking four damage at a time. You give me a chest. Very nice. I have no keys to open that right now. But I could get a key. Let's do it. So you froze that die. That's kind of annoying. Two red gems are useful. It might end the combat, though. But I think I have to take it. Okay, it won't. God damn you. I've lost my rerolls. I'll kill you. Everything's being frozen. We could do with the heal. I'll take it. And I'll use an eye circle to kill. Uh, goodbye, treasure chest. Shapeshifter. Swap attack and health when damaging you. Holy moly, these guys are strong. You have seven attack. Uh, you may have to be fireballed. Uh, goodbye. Okay. We're obviously keeping this because I, can't, I have no rerolls. And I think I charge this. I think I want you to die as fast as is humanly possible. He's now a 4 3 instead. I have to keep this one again. This has lifesteal in it, so I will charge it to gain a bit more health back. And then won't charge this one. I might have to grab this health one, I think. Forgo money for now. Possessed Monk and the Sunstone Guardian can't be attacked by die faces during the day. And it's night for one more roll. That is problematic. This roll isn't terrible, though. I'm going to keep it. We could Fire Breeze. Or I could just freeze him. What if I I circle you so that I don't have to worry about you for a turn? Am I just going to take two damage? Yeah, I think I'd prefer to keep some fireball charges. Oh, a sail. More health, a piercing and a shield. I think I might take this as well. So I could drop a freezing face die here if I really want to the problem is the frozen faces aren't terrible per se you know what let's do that okay bad timing but this will work monk dies Okay, now we have to kill this guy. He has 8 health. This is a nice heal for me. We could put Cursing on him and Eye Circle him. Yeah, let's do that. I'm done. It's still daytime. Enjoy being frozen. So I can't attack him, because it's daytime. So we just want the the best. Oh yeah, I was frozen, I had to keep it. Okay, I see why this guy's a nerd now. Get frozen. 
the gem is wasted, but at least I get some healing. Oh, I, I just can't kill this guy. <laughs> well, I can. I'd have to fireball fireball him, I think. But I can't. Why? Why can't I fireball? What? Why am I allowed to use my abilities? Okay, nighttime, now I can do stuff. I'm still allowed to fireball. What gives? I've got a condition. Okay. Well. I know why I can't use Fireball now, but why couldn't I before? I can still kill him. It's just annoying. Because I can just Ice Circle you twice. And I think I will, because I don't want the fear. And I would like the experience and the stars. But man, that guy was very annoying with Frozen. Another Sunny Monument. During day, other enemies have piercing attack. Harmless, uncapturable damage cap two. You are pretty spookerific. But not as spookerific as this guy is, because he has seven attack. And this is a fantastic roll. To take seven damage off the table. I might have to just take this. Chomp. I then have two... Sorry, I have one damage. We, oh, we No, we can't Fire Breeze because of the, the Super Gem, five million. What if I double f Fire Breeze? Do I just take seven here? It seems very spicy. The alternative is I ice circle, but it's my last ice circle, and I have another boss left. I think I just take seven. Okay, this makes me feel better. Six damage now. Well, you're gonna have one attack next turn. I block a big chunk of damage. Stay time doesn't bother me. We're not charging this. I'd rather get a shield here if I can get one. Yep, that works. Oh, he has to damage me to swap. I forgot about that. Well, we'll keep this. I'd still rather not charge you. And I believe we can get two damage this turn. There we go. That'll work. Okay, a bunch of possessed monks. It's night time, so this is our time to strike. None of you are giving me chests. Which sucks, by the way. So I could do a double charge, but it doesn't really help me that much. I think we just kill one of you. Man, these frozen dice. They're killing me right now. Okay, we have another dice. I think I will charge this this time. It will give me some lifesteal and I can block an attack. Frozen again, but it doesn't matter. Okay. The Rift Abomination. 
Uncapturable while ethereal. Uncapturable and ethereal three. Sure. And he has ethereal three. The next three times the enemy takes damage, reduce that damage to zero. Okay. So what you're telling me is I can't just explode him immediately with all my abilities. It's also daytime, so the possessed monkey is annihilating my anus. In fact, I'm dead right now. If I fire breeze, fire breeze. That will kill Chill Chillbringer. And that'll be my fire breeze charge is gone. And I'd have two gems left. It would remove two ethereal. I can then I circle the rift abomination. That removes his third one. And will freeze him. Then I have three fireballs left to kill the rift abomination, but I don't need to do it on the first turn. I think I keep this. I, I have to keep this. I forgot. I've got it frozen. We do it in this order, though. You get frozen. So I can't damage him anymore other than with spells. Now I keep it so that I get two red gems back and I get this back to three. I can charge you up to do two damage. And I will kill this guy. That gives me some health. The question then is, do I want to just fireball the shapeshift? And I think the answer is yes. I have three charges. Let's just remove the damage off the table. We take one. <laughs> this, I guess it's a 33% chance per roll that I get frozen, but it feels like it's, you know, 90% right now. This is fine. I kill you. I don't really want to charge here. I'd rather just fireball him. Why am I not allowed to fireball him anymore? Am I only allowed to use fireball once per battle? You know what? I'm not going to risk it. That's a huge amount of health. Also, he's going to take damage. In fact, he's dead. Okay. Five stars, please. Oh, come on. Four stars again. New class unlocked the Time Bender. Die power unlocked Temporal Gold. Die faces can now have Temporal Gold. It is cheaper than real gold but disappears at the end of turn. Die power unlocked Reroll Activation. Die faces can now have Reroll Activation. Score Reroll faces while rerolling re or keeping them. And now all classes can learn Time Bender abilities. We've got a new relic, the Moonstone Essence. And that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything helps me out. Unfortunately, I was one star off the next scenario, so we'll have to go back to a previous scenario with the Time Bender. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time to play as the Time Bender. Goodbye. <laughs>